Oh, it's gonna be a good day. Good morning. Hey, TQ. What, babe? Are you gonna get to work? You kind of been off like four days now, just out partying it up and stuff. Not partying it up. I got, look how dark I got sitting at the ball field. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, TQ, she had to take Miley a couple hours away for a travel ball tournament on our anniversary weekend. Not a big deal though. And I had to stay back home because Sean Boy had baseball tournament. And I have some really exciting news. Tonight, Sean Boy's team made it to the championship. So we play for the championship tonight. So that is awesome. So proud of the Wildcats and uh, the job that they're doing. So the number one question I get asked is how do you land commercial properties? And throughout this video, I'm gonna give you guys tips on how we at Spencer Lawn Care land commercial properties. It's always been one of our strongholds and I'm gonna give you all the tips and knowledge. And at the very end, I'm gonna give you my best tip. So tip number one, timing. Timing is everything, guys. Whenever you're trying to land commercial properties like this right here, timing. Everyone thinks that, hey, next year when it's springtime, I'll get out there like February, March, April, start putting estimates in, and maybe I'll land a commercial property. So you wanna get in here September, October, November, December, not saying not to still continue trying to push in January, February, March, April. Definitely do that. But your best odds to land a commercial property are going to be September, October, November, December of the year leading up to the year that you want to land these contracts. Now you might say, why is that the case? Well guys, when you're dealing with companies of this size, whether you look completely around, we're in a big industrial place. These people, they need to know what their budgets are gonna be for the next year. So they do everything in a year in, in advance so that they can plan ahead, okay? You should do a lot of the same things, okay? During the whole COVID period, that was very crucial to our success. You know, we ran into issues with getting uh, parts and getting certain equipment because there was none. So we had to start planning six months, eight months in advance. Trucks, I mean, I ordered a truck and didn't get the thing for four months. And uh, never foreseen that happening, but hey, it's part of life and you live with it. Same thing with commercial properties. They need to know what their budget for 2024 is gonna be here in 2023. So you come in, you give them a really professional, tip number two, professional looking quote, and bring yourself in looking very professional, clean. Right now I'm in work attire, so I would not approach this place looking like this. Come in clean shaven, being professional and being prepared, okay? I can't stress you enough about being prepared. So when I was an assistant manager at Subway in the late 90s, 99, 2000, somewhere around that period, even back then, probably can't get away with it now because there ain't enough people that want to actually work. But back then they had a stipulation that if somebody came in to fill out an application, I would be standing behind the counter. They'd come in and say, can I fill out an application? You say, yep, here you go. If they said, do you have a pen? If they asked me for a pen, that was instantly when they turned it back in, it went into the shredder, okay? Now you might say, well, why would it go into the shredder? You need employees, right? Not back then you didn't. There was more people filling out applications than, I mean, we had stacks of them, guys. I'm not kidding you, stacks. So anyways, I'm gonna let TQ get on by. This thing looks a lot better this week, huh? We skipped it last week because the week before it was brown, if you guys remember. It's got a lot of green back in it, so we're, we're hoping we're going in the right direction. So somebody came in and they had their own pen, they just asked for an application. That showed us they were prepared, they had their driver's license, yada, yada, yada. They could take care of everything, okay? They were prepared. Same exact thing for a commercial property. If you come in here and you're like, 
hey, can I give you an estimate? And they're like, what do you, you know, we're not accepting estimates right now, but if you have a business card, I'll get it to the guy or gal in charge of that department. If you don't have a business card, you just lost out right there. It showed them that you're unprepared. Every commercial property I've ever went into went differently than the one before or how I thought it was gonna go. Sometimes it's really, really simple. Sometimes you go in and they hit you, you know, hey, do you got this, 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 and this? I've literally walked into commercial properties and within a couple of minutes, I'm sitting in the office with the property manager and he's like, boom, give me this, give me that. And I'm like, here you go. So being prepared, have your insurance card on you. When you're getting into the commercial stuff, guys, I'll tell you right now, you're probably gonna wanna start 1 million and go up. One of our commercial properties uh, is a high risk area. We actually have to have $7 million insurance and it is not cheap. And you might say, well, how do I afford that? You gotta roll that into the cost of the property, okay? That plain and simple. If you're paying a lot more to service that property because of dangers or hazardous stuff, whatever, you know, you have to roll that into cost. You know, you're taking, you know, you're taking that risk as well. So I gotta get to work here, give you a couple tips there. Make sure you stick around. I'm gonna give you my best tip here in a little bit, but I'm gonna give you some as we uh, get through this property, I guess you could say. Write them down, guys, jot them down take little notes. And I'm not saying this is the end all be all and that I know everything. I'm just telling you what I know from my experience, okay? It is way too windy. We can't have you sitting up that tall. Some of you are probably wondering why I keep stopping when cars go by is because this edge is really filled with rocks so I want to make sure I'm not going to fling any rocks towards any of the cars driving by so just precaution. <sighs> Excuse me.
So we're going to try to knock down the weeds as best as possible along the base of the building here. They do have a lot of things like up against the building that I'll try to get to here. a little bit of an obstacle course to get down in between here but i think it's going to work out pretty good i just have a little bit going this way all right guys so let's talk more tips on how to get commercial property make sure you have a website make sure you have some reviews and if you're just getting started out it is going to be hard okay i'm not going to sit here and fluff you guys not saying it can't be done that you can't get commercial properties but i've noticed the first thing a commercial property does whenever we go into talk or anything like that is they want to see some references they want to see some reviews they're going to do their due diligence on your company and what you provide service wise and they are going to look at everything okay so you might be saying well how is that a tip well guys you can cut out a lot of the hassle by simply having a sheet or something made up on a tablet where you can show them instantly boom here are what our customers are saying about us here at Spencer Lawn Care. This is what other commercial properties that we take care of say about us. And right there, boom, you're just sealing the deal one step at a time. So if you're just starting out, that might be a little bit harder to achieve because you don't have the funds to really put so much money into a website. Highly recommend it as soon as you possibly can. And uh, don't take it lightly as well. Don't get one of those cheap domain names where you know you just have the domain name and it does nothing for your SEO or your search engine optimization if you don't know what SEO is. And uh, yeah, have an online presence. Get yourself all the free stuff. Start yourself a Facebook business page. You can start yourself an Instagram business page, a YouTube business page, or Google My Business page. Use all the stuff that you possibly can that is completely free and do a really good job so this is the problem whenever you go from really hot and dry to getting some moisture weeds pop up everywhere so i'm gonna grab what i can here just to make it look better for now try to get that root All right, so I don't know when you guys fell over, but I'm finishing this spot up here. Looks like TQ's done out back. This one, guys, is going to be on you and how you take no. You're going to get a lot of no's, plain and simple. But you can't let that dictate how you're going to continue that relationship. So if I came into this place, for example, like I did 10 years ago, nine years ago, and I said, hey, can I give you guys a free estimate to do your lawn care? I noticed you guys just moved into the building. Looks like it's being a little bit neglected. Are you guys entertaining bids? 
In the first year, they told me, no, they weren't accepting any. They already had a guy, yada, yada, yada. Well, if I'd have just took that and said, you know what, never going back to that place again. 10 years later, 10 year contract, I would have lost out on all of this, which turned into one of our biggest snow removal contracts. So your long-term relationship with a customer, even if they tell you no, is gonna dictate the success of your business. So when you come in and they say no, you know, follow that up with another question. You know, don't take it personal. Don't take it as they don't like you or you're never gonna get the account. Just take it as, hey, it's a no, not right now. And you can always say, do you have a service provider or is this a bad time for you guys? Or, you know, when do you accept estimates for lawn care? <clears throat> and a lot of times they might say, yeah, we're in a contract this year. Uh, maybe come back, I don't know, September, October. Okay, well, when you go back out to the car, that's valuable information. Say, hey, thank you, whoever's at the front desk, you know, receptionist, whatever, whoever you talk to, thank you. I'll see you in September. My name's Sean Spencer Lawn Care. Give her a business card, walk out. She's gonna remember that, probably keep that business card or chuck it in the trash, whatever. You go out to your car, you make a note on your calendar on your phone that says, hey, follow back up with said company, September of 2023. Give me a reminder that day. And you just set yourself up for the future. Come back in in September, she's gonna be like, dang, this dude's persistent. So you might walk back in there and she might tell you no again. Keep following back up. Okay, you know, I understand right now it's not a good time with you guys. You know, when would be a good time? Well, maybe in the spring, you know, we're just not ready right now. Okay, thank you so much. Give her another business card, walk out. Well, something changes, lawn care company sells. Every day I hear of guys and gals that I know in this industry, they're selling out, they're done, they can't get employees, yada, yada, yada. Hey, guess what? That happens, you get the call now. Something that told you no for two, three, five years, and you'll see people comment down in the comments here below the video that this had happened to them. So this is not just my experience. This is many, many companies experience. It could be painting, roofing, whatever. Can't take no for an, uh, an answer, guys. Stay persistent, don't be annoying. I cannot stress to you enough, do not be annoying. Do not blow these places up on their phone every week. You know, hey, this is Sean with Spencer Lawn Care. Are you guys looking to get lawn care? They are going to hate you and never call you. I'll tell you that much right now. Build a relationship, whether it's with the reception, you know, the president, the actual business owner for some smaller companies, stuff like that. Employees, whoever you talk to, build a relationship with them, be professional and stay persistent. Don't be afraid to pick up trash. I'm telling you right now, guys, one of the best tips I can give you throughout this entire video, you want to take all of the responsibility that they may have of worrying whatsoever about their landscaping or lawn care out of their hands. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm the best salesman on the planet, but if I can get in front of the person that's making the decision on the lawn care and landscaping, I'm about 90% sure I'm going to land that contract before I walk out of that office. Simply because I am going to take all the responsibility that they feel for the property and I'm going to place it on my shoulders and when I walk out of there, they're gonna feel relieved knowing that they have nothing to worry about. The lawn care is gonna be taken care of. The trash is gonna be taken care of. All the necessary trimming is gonna be taken care of. When we leave, it's gonna be a professional job. When we're on your property, we're gonna be safe and professional. We're gonna wear hearing protection, eye protection. We're gonna be using the best set equipment on the planet on your property to take care of it. And you have nothing. And when I tell you nothing to worry about, I give you my word and my word means a lot and my handshake means a lot and I let you know if you're willing to sign this contract today, you have nothing to worry about for your lawn care as long as we're your service provider. And guys, I'm not trying to toot my own horn here in any ways, but I do know what I'm talking about when it comes to commercial properties. Other people might have ways that they want to do it. They might have other pitches. I don't like sales pitches. I don't whatsoever. I want to be a problem solver for the customer, plain and simple. And if I can solve problems, if I can make their life easier, I know 100% they're gonna keep us around long-term and we have nothing, and I mean nothing, to worry about.
they're doing this like ground penetrating sonar stuff here these guys and i didn't want to be in their way they were very uh professional with me though we kind of worked around one another so i appreciate that i don't know if it's 811 dig or what it is but uh they were really really cool they're just marking it off let me get in my mowing before they did put down the sticks as well but uh yeah that place is going to be a mess next week Didn't want to blow grass on their machine. Probably expensive. For TQ, I don't know where she went. This will give you a general idea of how dry we still are. So we got quite a bit of rain this weekend, really brightened everything back up nice and green, as you can see. That retention pond, I was able to mow probably 80% of it. It's that dry. So, oh, there's TQ. Let's get a quick shot. So I came onto this side, guys, because all of her debris are going that way. It's not fun getting hit by stuff. Alrighty, we'll be back. She got it. She got it. Ugh. Good job. Good, Good job. job too. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we got completely rained out, which we're not complaining. We need this rain still. We still need this rain. I know things are really starting to green up. We'll take it. My gutter, obviously, is clogged off, so I need to get that cleaned out. That or it's just raining that hard that it's not even going down it. Anyways, I'm not going to leave you guys hanging. I promised you the last and final tip. And that tip is, guys, don't be scared. You have to walk into these properties first and foremost and take a chance, okay? You would not believe how many guys and gals over the years, and I've been doing this a long time, cannot even get over the fear of just getting out of their vehicle and walking into the property in introducing themselves. Hey, I'm Sean with Spencer Lawn Care. I'm in your area, I'm in your community. I'm giving free estimates. Can I please give you a free estimate right here, right now? If not, remember I told you way back in the video, don't take no as an answer. Get as much information as you can, document it, and then move forward. So if they immediately say no, 
Don't just take it as a no. Just say, okay, thank you. Is there a better time that I could stop back, maybe talk to somebody that's in charge of the lawn care landscaping? That right there sometimes takes the pressure off of the person, the secretary, or whoever's at the front desk where they can kind of pivot or, you know, push that on to the next person that could possibly be the person in charge of that. So they say, hey, here's his number. Give him a call. That got you in a little in, if you know what I'm saying. And then you can give him a call. Hey, Sean Spencer Lawn Care. I was at your facility today. I noticed this, this, and this. We need it. Let's go. I noticed this, this, and this. I wanted to see if I could come out and give you a detailed free estimate at your convenience. You don't have to be there. I'll simply come out, walk the property, and that's as simple as that, guys. That's my best tip. Take a chance, and I say this from experience. Everything I've shared today is from experience and real-life examples, okay? I've had so many people send me videos sitting in their car literally with tears because they can't get over the fear of walking into that facility. I promise you guys, nobody is going to bite your head off. Nobody's going to jump on you. The worst thing that can happen is they say, no, I've never had a person bite my head off and I'm obviously still here today. So don't be scared to talk to people. I know it can be, you know, a little bit uh, stressful, but just get yourself to do it like this rain. It's just doing it. Let's go. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember, everything I share in these videos is to help you guys and gals out there better yourselves and better your business and overall better your family's livelihood in the long run. So I hope you enjoyed it. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. Keep you up. Peace. Bye-bye.